Welcome to this video on English idiomatic expressions. Language goes beyond mere words and grammar. It's a treasure trove of vibrant and distinctive phrases that infuse our conversations with richness and depth. In today's journey, we'll explore some of the most intriguing and frequently employed idiomatic expressions in the English language. These expressions transcend language. They offer us glimpses into the culture and inventive spirit of English speakers. So, let's embark on this exploration of the linguistic gems that make English a truly captivating language. Okay, let's begin. English idiomatic expressions. The apple of my eye, something or someone that is very special to you. The apple of my eye, is a heartfelt idiom expressing deep affection for someone special. It symbolizes the unique value and cherished place an individual holds in the speaker's heart. This endearing phrase conveys a strong emotional connection and is often used to describe a loved one who is exceptionally dear and important. Here are the usages of the idiom, the apple of my eye, in various contexts. Romantic relationship. This usage refers to a person who is exceptionally cherished and loved in a romantic context. The phrase signifies that the person holds a special and irreplaceable position in the speaker's heart. Parental love. In this context, the idiom is often used by parents to express the deep affection and fondness they feel for their child. The child is considered the most cherished and beloved individual in their eyes. Close friend or family member. Beyond romantic and parental relationships, the idiom is also applied to express profound affection for close friends or family members. It signifies that the person is held in high regard and is extremely important to the speaker. Now, let's examine some examples of the idiom, the apple of my eye. Since the day we met, Emma has been the apple of my eye, and every moment with her is precious. My daughter is the apple of my eye. Her laughter brightens my darkest days. Growing up, my cousin was always the apple of my eye. We shared countless adventures and secrets. After years of friendship, Maria gifted her longtime buddy a heartfelt scrapbook filled with memories. She told him, you're truly the apple of my eye. For Diana, her golden retriever was more than a pet. He was the apple of her eye. She showered him with love, attention, and even threw him a birthday party every year. For a better understanding and immersion, listen to the story to see how the idiom, the apple of my eye, is used in it. A grandmother's love. In a cozy little town, lived an elderly woman named Margaret. Her grandchildren, Emily and Jake, were the apples of her eye. Margaret cherished every moment spent with them, and they brought immense joy into her life. One sunny afternoon, as Margaret sat in her garden, tending to her vibrant flowers, Emily and Jake came running with wide smiles. They eagerly joined their grandmother, ready for an afternoon filled with laughter and stories. Margaret, with a twinkle in her eye, began to recount tales from her own childhood, sharing adventures and life lessons. The grandchildren listened intently, captivated by the grandmother's vivid storytelling. As the day unfolded, Margaret and her grandchildren engaged in various activities, planting new flowers, baking cookies, and playing board games. The bond between them grew stronger with each passing moment. In the evening, as they gathered for a homemade dinner, Margaret looked at Emily and Jake with immense love and said, You two are the apples of my eye, the greatest treasures in my world. The warmth of family, laughter echoing in the air, and the shared love between generations made that day unforgettable. In Margaret's heart, the memories created with Emily and Jake remained forever cherished, a testament to the enduring love she had for the true apples of her eye. In the questions section, 
You should think about what we've learned and recall the knowledge so that you can answer the questions easily. So, read the questions and find the correct answer below. 1. What does the idiom, the apple of my eye, primarily convey? A. Deep affection and importance for someone. B. Describing a delicious dessert. C. An expression of dislike towards someone. D. A literal reference to a favorite fruit. 2. If a parent says, my child is the apple of my eye, what is the likely sentiment? A. Disappointment. B. Pride and deep affection. C. Indifference. D. Irritation. 3. What does it mean when someone refers to another person as, the apple of their eye? A. They dislike the person. B. They enjoy eating apples together. C. They are indifferent towards the person. D. They have a strong emotional connection with the person. 4. In which context is the idiom, the apple of my eye, commonly used? A. Discussing food preferences. B. Describing a scenic view. C. Expressing love and affection. D. Talking about personal achievements. As we conclude our exploration of English idiomatic expressions, I hope you've enjoyed this linguistic adventure. Idioms are the hidden treasures of any language, revealing the culture, history, and humor of its speakers. By understanding and using idioms, you not only become a more fluent communicator, but also gain insights into the soul of the English language. So, go ahead, break a leg, and start using these phrases to add richness and depth to your English conversations. Remember, learning idioms can be a piece of cake if you bite the bullet and practice regularly. Thank you for joining me on this journey, and until next time, happy idiom hunting!